Perfect. Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with more Atlanta Falcons news. And this is just to kind of give people an update. I know you guys have probably heard the changes in the Atlanta Falcons uh, coaching staff. And I just want to give you kind of an idea of what to expect from these guys and, you know, the changes and what will happen. OK, so I'm going to start with the first one. And that's Tosh Lapui. I, I don't know if I'm saying the damn name right, but he was an Alabama Crimson Tide, all right? The Tide, Road Tide. These guys, he was a defensive coordinator, co defensive coordinator, linebackers coach, defensive line. He did everything at the University of Alabama. And um, 2016, 17, where they had one of the best scoring defenses in, the, uh, in college football. So he does have experience. He does have. Um, experience with guys that played obviously he has ties to Alabama so um, that's a good thing he actually was a coach with the Cleveland Browns last year uh, under Brian Kitchens who was fired and you know a couple of guys uh, two of these guys uh, were free agents and they brought them in to you know add to the Atlanta Falcons coaching staff so Tosh Lapui for me is a guy who is um, he's going to be defensive line and run game coordinator. He's going to, you know, work with these guys on setting the edge and, you know, gap integrity, you know, technique and things of that nature for the defensive ends for the most part. Um, and I think this is a good, good hire for them. Um, Cleveland Browns, they also ran a 3-4. So the Atlanta Falcons are going to, you know, they're going to be a mixed coverage team. All right. They're going to be a mixed um they're going to be a team that does a multitude of things. They're going to be in a 3-4. They're going to be in a 4. They're going to be a 4-2-5. They're going to be in a ton of dime looks. And this is what you need from guys like uh, Tosh Lapui. Um, guys who can teach these guys how to do the small things. And this is this is one of the things that, you know, that played the Atlanta Falcons this year and run defense against certain teams. Um, obviously, teams like the Titans. Uh, teams like the uh, the Texans, they ran through the Atlanta Falcons, um, and they had difficulty early in the season um, stopping the run. But um, they turned things around. But Tosh Lapui was is a guy who's going to work well. He's going to work with the defensive linemen, defensive uh, ends, and linebackers and whatnot. So um, I, I like his energy. I, I I'm going to connect. I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys to check it out. Uh, just to kind of give an idea of what, you know, Tosh has his personality and to kind of give you guys what to expect from him. All right. So um, the next one is Joe Witt Jr. He's actually um, a secondary. He worked with um, he, he's been in the SEC. So he, he's worked with guys like uh, Greedy Williams and whatnot. He, he played against these East Coast against these guys. Um, he was with the Cleveland uh, Browns. Um, team for the last couple of years or so um, for last year and he, he played with um, he actually coached with the Green Bay Packers so this guy is a well respected and a, a good a good, a great uh, secondary coach so the Atlanta Falcons in my opinion when you make moves like this I think they're going to put an emphasis on bringing in guys who can solely work with the defensive ends you know, linebackers who are going to set the edge. All right, the Falcons have had, you know, issues with setting the edge and whatnot uh, this coming season, earlier in the season, but they got those things changed. And, you know, looking forward, maybe you bring in a guy like A.J. Espinosa, no, uh, Espinosa, uh, A.J. Espinosa, um, to kind of help uh, bring in a youth movement. I don't know what the Atlanta Falcons are going to do with Vic Beasley, um, obviously, Vic Beasley is a free agent. I don't know if he's going to command a, you know, a huge contract. But for the most part, man, um, Falcons have, you know, some big decisions to make. Um, we know Tack is still. The Falcons have yet to extend him um, his fifth-year option. So this could be a big, big offseason for the Atlanta Falcons, and they're making major changes. So uh, when you look at it, Joe Witt Jr is a secondary school he's going to come in and be this uh the, the pass game coordinator um and work with the defensive back so 
Um, my thoughts on this, the Atlanta Falcons are making a, a, a conservative effort to commit to a 3-4 and being a team that you know, really puts the emphasis on coverage. Coverage helps create pressure. If you can get guys that can you know, cover well, you're gonna get. You're gonna have more opportunities to get sacks. You're gonna get more opportunities, you know, to, to throw, you know, interceptions or whatnot. And you know, bringing in a guy like Joe Witt, he's he's been successful in the past, and he's a, a pretty good coach. Um, Tosh, um, he obviously has experience, and I, I love these moves for the Atlanta Falcons because it, it brings in a youth movement, and it just continues. I know a lot of people talk about depth amongst the, the, the depth chart as far as the roster and the players are concerned, but nobody really pays a lot of a much attention to the coaching staff. The more coaches that you have, the better coaches you have, the better you know you have coaches around now who can teach individual you know uh, techniques. Um, you know techniques like setting the edge, you know tackling proper tackling uh, form, you know, learning how to play a cover two or cover three man you know the proper technique the proper press technique these are the things that you need every coach to have at least um his strength are so we we know that joe witt is a guy that loves to play you know when he was with cleveland the cleveland played a lot of uh press man so i expect the atlanta falcons to you know uh, with the new defensive coordinator um Raheem Morris, he's going to be mighty aggressive. He's going to be hella aggressive. So the Atlanta Falcons bring in Joe Witt, who's going to you know, teach that man press, which is a strength of not only Desmond Trufant, but it is a strength of uh, Isaiah Oliver. So the Atlanta Falcons, um, I expect these moves to be pretty good. I think they'll be extremely aggressive and you know making changes to the secondary i i know a lot of people are focusing on the the front line but i would not count out the falcons making a strong move to maximize talent and get more depth in the secondary so let me know what you guys think about these changes um tosh lapui um i hope i said the name right and joe witt jr this guy has been added to the Atlanta Falcons coaching staff. Even comments below. Your boy, man, Mike is out, man. Peace.